Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Premiere Pro, where you'll learn everything you need to know to go from a 100% beginner to a professional level video editor. We'll release at least one new tutorial every week. And if there's anything you'd like to see covered in the future, let me know in the comments. In volume six, I showed you how to use video and audio transitions in your edit. If you want to take a look at that video, there's a link in the description. Right now, I'm going to show you how to apply effects and use effects controls. So let's get started. So basically, we have a sample edit we've already put together here. You've already learned how to trim clips, how to do transitions, how to time your cuts to the music. If you miss any of those videos, just go to the beginning of the playlist and you can see how to do that. So I'm just going to play through this really quickly so you can see the cut. And then we're just going to apply a few transitions to it and enhance this a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so we chose the Sports Authority there because that's kind of a defunct, non-existent brand anymore. So that way we have no issues with current brands and creating fake commercials for them. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take a few of these clips. We're just going to look at some of the effects, how we can enhance them, give them a little bit more of a stylized look, and just make this a little bit more interesting. So what you want to do, make sure you have your effects panel selected. If you do not have it selected, if you go to window and go to effects, you can get that window and then you'll have your options. So you already know how to do video transition. So we're going to close that. Now we're going to go to video effects and we're just going to go over a couple that are built into Premiere. There's many out there, many plugins that can enhance this, but Premiere has some basic ones and we're just going to go through a couple. So if you look at this first shot here, Sometimes a nice way to add a little drama or mood is to just take this color out just to make it black and white. And that's actually one of the easiest things to do. But we can also adjust a few more of the parameters to give it kind of a feel and a mood. So we're just going to go to color correction. And we're going to go to Lumetri color here, which is Premiere's color correcting engine. We're going to click and hold it, drop it down over the clip. And now in your effects controls and again, if you don't have it, just make sure it's checked over your window. You're going to see these options now popped up. So every time you add something to a clip, you're going to have this little section here that's going to show you, uh, you know, your controls and your parameters and how you can adjust that clip. So we're just going to go to basic correction. And if you go down, this is everything within that category of basic correction. So you have your tent, color temperature, right? You can change if it looks cool or warm. So that's pretty cool. And by the way, if you want more fine tune control, you can uncollapse this here and you can use the slider and you can look, this gives a warm mood. This gives a cool mood. This really changes the feel of our clip just by sliding this around. So we're just going to reset this back to zero because we're going to be making this black and white. So obviously the temperature and tint won't matter, but to show you, you can tint different colors, You can really change the feel, right? Maybe you wanted that kind of feel. So let's go back to zero there. So you can mess with your exposure. You can make it look really blown out. Your contrast, see that? Highlights. So we'll reset all of those, but those are fun ones that you can just play around with. What we're going to get to is we're going to get to our color, our saturation. So right here is the saturation and really just bring this down to zero. And now we have black and white. See how that gives it a completely different mood now, completely different feel. So what you can do too, 
I want to do that to this next clip, but I don't need to drag this again and do that again. I go to the clip that I want. Just have to, the playhead doesn't have to be over, but it just has to be selected. Select the clip you want, right click, go to copy, and then select the clip you want to add it to, right click and hit paste attributes. And it's going to ask you what you want to paste because you may not want to paste everything, just one thing. So for instance, if I had some motion keyframes on here, I may not want to paste that. I just want the color. So I've checked that box, hit OK, and boom, whatever I had done is going to go to that clip. And then what I think would be nice to do here, this kind of ramps up, the music ramps up here. So over the course of that clip, what we can do is we can bring that color in. And this is pretty cool because what I can show you is uh, something called keyframing where I can choose where I wanted to do what. And basically, if I go to the very end of this clip and in Premiere, when you go to the end, you just have to push back once to get to the last frame. And if I add the, the color here and you know what, again, I can just paste my attributes, right? So I don't have to drag it again. And oops, look at that. I had the wrong clip selected. So case in point. So I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to select the correct clip and this will happen to you. So if you go to apply something and it doesn't happen, make sure you have the correct clip uh, selected. So that's important as well. So now I'm going to right click, paste attributes, little tree color, and boom, we have black and white. But I want to go a step further here. So for saturation, you see this little stopwatch here and I'll uncollapse this so I can use the slider. This stopwatch is what's a keyframe. If I click it, it's going to say now at that point in the video, that's the value. But here's what I can do. I can go back to the first clip and now I can type in a new value. A hundred percent, right? Cause we're starting and actually, I'm sorry, we're going to do it at the end. So we're going to make this value 100% at the end, zero at the beginning, because we're starting with color. So look at that. It's the opposite of what I want. So you know what you can actually do? These keyframes that it created, you can move these. See that? I'm going to move this to that last frame again. And I want to just center that. And I want to move it to the beginning. And what it's going to do is evenly move between those two values over the course of that time. So that's pretty cool. So now if I look here, I go to the beginning of this clip, see how that brings that color in. So if I go frame by frame, and if you look at those keyframes, it's evenly adding between those two values. So if you see the saturation here, it's adding a little bit more each frame so that it evenly moves between those two values. So let's just take a look at that sequence now. So if we look at that, now we have a little bit more of an effect and a feel. We're making this unique. This is stock footage, but we want we don't want it to feel like stock footage. We want it to look like we shot this, we're telling this story. So now that's one element that makes it a little more unique. So this next clip we're going to look at here. So that's a cool shot with the slow motion, but I want this to have a little bit of a grittier feel. So again, we're going to select the correct clip because that was actually good. It was a mistake, but it showed you what happens when you select the wrong clip and even what happens when you put the wrong values on. So you can easily go back and fix those things. So we're going to select this clip, make sure that's selected. What I'd like to do now is go to tint. We're going to drag that down. And what we can do is it's going to say map black to black, map white to white. What I'd like to do is give this a bluish tint. So in the blacks, I want kind of a nice dark blue. And you're just going to hit the box there and that's going to come up, go in the blue. And then I want a nice light blue for the whites. So the darker shadow areas will be a darker blue and the brighter areas will be a, a lighter blue. So just by doing that, I've given it this blue tint. Now, yeah, that's a little bit the other way, right? Over the top. This is the amount it's going to mix the effect. So if you just go over here, slide it down, you see that? So now you can control how much of that you have. So I think we don't need to go overkill here. We're just going to do a little bit, maybe about, say about 40%. 
So that looks pretty cool. And again, if you want to compare it to the original, you can hit the F key. And look at that. And that's quite a difference. Now it has a little bit more of a harder, colder, grittier feel to it, right? A little more intense. Now I'd like to do one more thing. I'd like this shot to look a little bit more gritty. So I'm going to close color correction. We're going to go down a little to noise. And what noise is going to do, if you ever looked at a TV that looks staticky or gritty, that's called noise. It's something by, we do, we get by accident, we underexpose, but sometimes it can be used stylistically. So you want to go to effects controls. And this is another good point. This clip is so long. Uh, the title of the clip is so long. You can't even see the next panel here. So these little arrows here, you can bring up anything that may not show up. There's your effects controls. Click it again. And there you go. So now we have noise here. We have this category for noise. So we're going to do is just mess with the amount. Now I'll show you all the way. Obviously that's too much. And another thing too here, this is personal preference, but I don't like the color. I think that looks cheesy. So if you click this, no color noise, it's just going to be black and white noise. So I could show you, this is probably a bit much, right? So we're just going to make that more subtle. So that's what these percentages are great. And this is where you may want to use the slider for fine tune control. So I just want enough that we see there's a little something there. So let's try that at about 15. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that's looking really good. That's nice and gritty. That looks really cool. So let's take a look at that. And again, if you hit the F, see that frame? Look at that. That's our original shot. This is something we've stylized. So now this is going to be unique. This is a stock footage clip that you could see in other videos, but it's only going to look like this in yours because you customize it with effects. So we have this shot here. Now, these are both boxing clips. They're both kind of gritty. I'd like those to look a little bit more like each other. So again, I can right click and copy. Paste attributes. Tint and noise. So now I've done two things. So I have the option to do these. I want to do both. I'm going to hit OK. And then look at that. Now, here's what's interesting. In this shot, level of noise looks pretty good, right? This shot, to me, that's a bit much. So what I'm going to do here. Now, remember, this is a different clip. So whatever I do to the effects now, even though I pasted them, it's not going to affect this. That's its own clip. So I'm going to go here, go back to my effects controls. You have to click it again. I'm just going to go to noise. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. This one I don't need to be quite as because it's already smoky. So right about there. Let's take a look at that. It's looking pretty good to me. Now, here's a cool thing you can do as well. If you want to see how much is really affecting your clip, if you go over the FX. And I'm going to take it away and put it in. It's not a huge difference. It's subtle. Let's maybe add a little bit more. Let's try 10. And this is percentages. So we'll add 10%. Okay, and let's take that out again. And now you can kind of see a difference there. See how it's gritty? You take it out, it's gritty. So I like that grit. So let's look at that sequence. That's looking a lot more matched. Very good. And then we're going to look at one final sequence. So as the video ramps down, maybe we bookend it and we bring it back to black and white on this clip. So what we can do again is highlight this clip and this time I'll do it in the correct order. We're going to go to the first frame. So, you know, that's another point. It's important to make sure the frame that you want to affect, make sure you're on that frame so you don't apply the effects of the wrong part. And then you're having to move your keyframes around. And that's it. Now you know how to apply effects and use the effects controls panel in Premiere. In volume eight, I'll show you how to keyframe video clips with the effects control panel. For more Premiere Pro tutorials, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and make sure to ring the notification bell. And as soon as the next volume is uploaded, you'll find the link in the description.